Welcome back, everyone. It's been a long time. I know there's been some issues. Well, a couple issues. I um, I just gotta say it flat out. I got locked out of my uh, Google account. Um, my mistake, and it's gonna take me. By the time that I record this, I'm still trying to figure out the issues. Um, and probably some other videos are gonna be uploaded before that that I was trying to upload. Um, before it got locked out. Um, but I'm gonna upload those first, and then I'm gonna upload this one. But on the day of recording, it is currently. November 23rd, um, 7.30 p.m. my time, um, the, the day before Thanksgiving, I think, yeah, the day before Thanksgiving, so I'm just recording, I'm just gonna sit here, I took like a week or two just to take care of myself, I do needed some personal time because I was having some issues um, up in the brain, but today we are flying the Yak-9UT, um, you know, you got the 3745, I love both the options, but this is the first time flying it, so, you know, I got the 20 and 23. I love the 23s and 20s. Um, I just want to see, I know Russians, you know, you have to conserve your shots, and I love the yak lines. So let's get right into it, let's see how it performs. The landing flaps came down automatically. I love the yak landing flaps because those things come in handy. Usually I just pop it up. Let's see how the interior looks. Ah, looks like a yak. They kept the yak looking similar for a pretty good time. Let's get the gears up and let's just go on a nice climb. Have a little bit of fun with everyone else. Roll well, rate's decent, I do like it. Man, I forgot how fucking rude people are about it, the Israel tech tree. But you know how it is. Let's just keep on climbing. So it looks like... Let me do this properly. It looks like we have both of the guns mounted in the nose. Not only in the nose, but like a little bit behind the, the propeller. Um, which would be like right there. I'm guessing that the left one is the 20 mil and the right one's the 23. Now let's give it a good look. They look very similar. I'll have to see. Let's go after the A7M. It looks like the biggest threat besides the Corsair, but... Ugh, sometimes how I hate this map. Yeah, we already got the B-17s, we already got all the, the bombers up high and everyone, like the F-84 high. Let's just keep climbing and get that energy advantage. Oh, we're going a little overheat, let's just back it off. Level out flight and try to gain some speed while getting a slight altitude. Spitfire might be coming in. It's closing distance real fast, or it might just be going back down. Now let's go after the Spitfire. He, he's a threat, priority threat right now. He definitely had to lose a lot of speed by cl doing that climb, so he's gonna be at a bit of an advantage altitude-wise. Looks like no one's threat. He's definitely turning around with his head on. We're trying to disengage. Oh uh, yeah, he's he he he's I'm catching up. He's gotta turn around eventually. Notice that. Yeah, great, yes, there we go, there we go. Let's just climb away. Cause if I go any closer, I'm screwed. Oh hello, F. Circle in. He overshot, let's just keep climbing. Let's get this wrap climbing. He did get a nice hole in my wing. Alright, I think I'm gonna pursue him. Looks like the Spitfire. Uh, no, nah, if I go close to that Spitfire, I'm definitely gonna go down. I'm damaged enough, so I might just have to. Oh, wow, it doesn't even register anything on my left. Ooh, hello. Okay, let's go down. He's dumb. He's flying right towards the airfield. Hmm, okay. So we might have just a slight bit chance to stay alive here. He is definitely dead to our airfield. 
Remember, this is my first. You guys are experiencing my first game with the Yak Yak Nine U. See, whatever this is. Oh, I didn't even get an, uh, an assist. I created that guy. Interesting. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm at least gonna land and try to get. Um, I'm gonna try to repair because I do not want to go back into the fight damage like this. This is irrefutably not good. Oh, nice. Flap, flap. Damaged. Kick down speed. Flap down. Yeah, that'll, I'm just gonna land without the flaps. Gears down. This should be good enough speed. Perfect, perfect. Just kick a little bit up. There we go. Perfect landing. Pitch up just a little bit. Awesome. Perfect landing. Just help cut, cut a little bit of speed. Let's get that one landing flap. Now let's hit the brakes a little bit more aggressive. Flap up. Rudder kick. Just for a nice little drifty boy action. Doo! There we go. 30 seconds ain't bad. So I the only thing is, this is my first time playing this. I do love the 23s because I've always played like the LA9 with the four 23s. I just adore the 23s. They just. The velocity, you know, the way that you can do it. But the mix of this 23 and 20 is just kind of throwing me off just a little bit because I don't know which one I should be leading a little more. Because the 23, I feel, has a little bit more velocity. Let me double check. This one has a velocity. Oh, I didn't say, it just says armor pier, like the piercing effect. Okay. Well, for me, the velocity of the 23 feels a little bit more um, intense, um, per se. Let's take off, and hopefully get this at least a kill or two. Gear up, flaps up. Yeah, I got, I got nothing yet, no score, no kills, which is not bad. Um, at least I'm trying to fly a plane, but I just, my thing is, I, I want to try to survive longer. And that means I have to back out, because I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be, you know, less able to fly because of the damage that I've taken, I would, I would just sit back and relax and take it back. That jet do be wildin' up though. They do say some really fuck shit. But this thing is really good at climbing. I'm already at like a almost 20 degree. I'm still gaining speed plus altitude. So we only have three people alive left. One of them is the F-82. Another two are the bombers, and they're just gonna sit there by their airfield. That, that's just how it is. I'm going after that F-82, I don't care if I die. I won't be able to get any of these foods. Let me see if I can see him anywhere. I know he took off, so he has to get, there he is. I got the advantage, I'm definitely, oh, he's got to circle back, he's circling back. Yeah, he's definitely doing a full 180. I'm gonna, 
I, I'm not gonna take this risk, so I'm gonna back off and just keep flying away. Just keep climbing. Hopefully, one of them will pop off. There's the big boy. I can probably take this guy out. No air brakes for this. Okay. Here we go. There we go, I got a little elevator action. He's definitely done skis. Let's boom and zoom away. He's got no elevator, so he's definitely gonna go down. Oh, look at that. Game ended. Well, that is an unfortunate end. No kills. They just camped their airfield, and that is one of the problems with propellers. They just, they're afraid to die, so they just sit there and camp and bleed out the tickets. Well. I'm not going to let it happen like that. Let's get another match in before I switch up to a low tier. Hopefully it gets us in a game that isn't ridiculous. And while we're at it, I'll show you. I need to do some of these things, but my main priority is... I don't know, just trying to get some new planes just to review for you guys. Let's just take it off. And hopefully by the time this is all ready and my account comes back, I can uh, post these videos and keep on posting them. And hopefully they're better quality. I know for now, I'm just going to keep posting it. I don't care. I said before, I don't care about the quality. I do kind of, but I, I care more about consistency and, you know, bringing you guys content. I know if it's 720p, not the best, but it's better than having 1080p that's jumpy and that is very bad quality barely understand it. It just skips like frames every 10 seconds. So I'd rather, you know, make sure it's better quality, it's, you know, smooth enough, and it's not juddering with over sound or, you know, too much. So it's just getting the normal climb like we usually do. Looks like we're in a decent climb. Let me go in like a little below 20. Oh, that's almost a 40 degree. Dang. Yeah, that should be a good climb for there right now. Scanning scene. Once again, I like, I, I don't know, I always like the high altitudes, you know, at least 3,000 is my comfortable. I always like being above, because they always say, you know, as long as you're above everyone else and you have the energy advantage, you should be set. You determine when the fight begins and when it ends. Which I'm still learning how to do it properly. Comfortably at like 3. Yeah, that would be sound. Looks like they're going to be coming from over here. So I'm going to get a little bit more of a side climb in. And then lower it down. We're almost halfway there to my cruising altitude, so let me just lower it down to gain some more speed.
It looks like the uh, J188A is in, which is normal. I see the uh, strike aircraft. Now we see. Right now, I'm the high. I'm still. I'm a higher above the other team, so that's good. Man, that that guy's just probably like AFK climbing. Let's cut back. Let's cut in some more. Hopefully, find something else while we're tr uh, trailblazing down the path of glory. Oh look, it's Spitfire, heh. <laughs> Speak of the devil. I see three above me, so I need to climb, or at least get them to drop altitude. Hey, it's Speak of the Devil. Spitfire drops altitude. And it says two F-82s. Hopefully the key goes after them and they, they fall. Because those things are definitely above my altitude. Those things are dangerous, especially if they have the gun pods. And there could be a 109. Okay, let me fly now. I know I'm below them, which is not good. I need them to drop altitude as fast as possible. I have them to the right and then a BF 109. I just gotta watch out if he circles around. Oh, he is circling around, okay. Okay, these guys are closer and more of a threat. Oh, okay, okay, good, good, good. He's dropping altitude, and this guy's closing in. Oh, I see, I see, okay. See, he's the biggest threat right now. I need him to drop altitude below me. I should be good, because as long as I keep an altitude, he's going after them. Okay, okay. We're at 5,000 meters. Need him to drop fast. There we go. He's catching slowly. Slowly catching. And we got an F8F slowly coming up. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Right when I like money, money, money. Oh, perfect. Right where I want to give you. Gain all the speed. I want this guy. You gotta pull up. I know he's probably going a little bit faster. Than me. Uh oh. Oh shit. How did he not wing rip? He's. Okay. I think that will be the last one for this video tonight. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy.